Welcome back mga kamatlets It's me again Teacher Robert So in our previous video we discuss about Zero and negative exponent And how we're going to simplify With that uh, expression uh, Containing those kind of exponent Now in this video uh, Our topic is all about Simplifying expression with rational exponent Now uh, you will know how to in this video you will learn how to simplify expression uh, containing a rational uh, exponent when you say rational exponent or rational it involves or any number that can be represented in, uh, by a over b it can be written as in the uh, form of a over b in short fraction no? fraction the exponent that we are going to uh, encounter is a fraction no okay we have let's proceed uh let's tackle first the properties of rational exponent before we are going to simplify now we have properties of rational exponent so the properties of integral exponent it can be also applied to rational exponent so in our previous video we discussed about the laws of exponent the properties that we had in the integral exponent okay then those as it is mentioned we have those uh, laws and we have the properties are can be applied also in rational exponent so we have let let a and b be positive real numbers and let m and n be rational numbers so the following properties have the same names as those listed on the properties of integral exponent but now we're going to apply rational exponent as illustrated so we have that one first the property we have the product of powers so in our previous video we discussed about the product of powers as a to the power of m times a to the power of n we're going to copy the base then we have to add the exponent that's the pa product of powers then if we are going to apply that in rational exponent same we have a to the power of one half times a to the power of 3 over 2 that is equal to you are going to copy the base then add the exponent so we have since our exponent is a similar fraction when you say similar fraction it is a fraction with with uh, the same denominator pareho sila ng denominator ibig sabihin we are going to apply those properties, those concepts that we have uh, in how we are going to add or subtract or divide or multiply the, the uh, rational numbers. Okay? So, we are going to apply those one, those properties in adding or applying the fundamental operations in rational numbers. Okay? So, again, since our exponent has or is a similar fraction, so we have to copy uh, we have to copy the base then add the numerator or copy the denominator then add the numerator that makes uh, 1 plus 3 is 4 over 2 okay over 2 so we have 4 over 2 is 2 okay so we have then a to the power of 2 at this we are going to apply the properties of exponent at the same time I-apply natin kung paano natin i-add, di ba, kung paano mag-add ng, ng, ng fraction. So, ito. Okay, because uh, we will encounter, in some examples, we will encounter uh, exponent whose uh, denominator is not the same. Or they have the, the exponent is, or the exponent is not a similar fraction. Okay, understood? Sabot? Okay, we have number two, we have power of power. Now, we discussed that this power of power we have, for example, a to the power of m is raised to the power of n. So, in, that, in this case, you are going to copy the base, <coughs> but we are going to multiply the, the exponent. We are going to uh, multiply the exponent. Okay? Kuha? Okay. So, okay, we have, for example, we have 4 to the power of 3 over 2 times or raised to the power of 2 okay then copy the base then you are going to multiply the exponent so that makes 3 over 2 times 2 so that makes 3 times 2 is 6 so 6 to the uh, 6 over 2 is 3 so that makes 4 cube 
So, 4 cubed is equal to 64. Because the exponent is 3 if, and the base is 4, ibig sabihin, uh, uh, tatlong bases natin imumultiply si 4. So, that makes 4 times 4 times 4. So, that is equal to 64. That is how we're going to simplify, okay? Next is power of a product. Power of a product is... So, in this case, excuse me, we have AB to the power or quantity AB to the power of M. So, in this case, you are going to distribute the, the, the exponent to its uh, factor. To its factor. So, we have the factor is AB, E and B. So, we are going to distribute. So, we have M, you have A to the power of M and B to the power of M. So, how are we going to distribute? By multiplying the exponent. We have since it na uh, meron siyang 1 na exponent ito ibig sabihin uh, omitted siya meron siyang 1 na exponent so 1 times m is m b times 1 uh, 1 times m is m so that is a to the power of m b to the power of m so halimbawa for example we have the quantity x y to the power of 2 to uh, 2 over 5 uh, raised to the power of 1 half okay so tuloy dito 1 half. So, ito yung i-distribute natin. So, x. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang 1 omitted. So, 1 times 1 half is 1 half. So, 1 half na agad. Half, while y has an exponent of 2 over 5, so we are going to multiply. So, multiply, no? So, that makes 2 over 5 times 1 half. So, pag mag-multiply ka ng uh, fraction, you are going to multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So, that makes 2 times 1 is 2, and then ten, uh, 5 plus 2 is 10. So, 2 over 10 is 1 pip. So, that makes 1 pip. So, the answer is x to the power of 1 half, y 1 to the power of 1 pip. Next is quotient of powers. Quotient of powers, we have, so, a to the power of m over a to the power of n is equal to Diba? Sa quotient of powers, we are going to uh, subtract the exponent or the power in each or both numerate and denominator. If this expression have the same base, huh? the same base or the same A, pareho sila A. So, copy the base, then subtract the uh, exponent. We have M minus N. So, for example, this one, 6, 5 over uh, to the power of 5 over 2 then 6 to the power over 6 to the power of 1 half so we have to copy the base then subtract the exponent so that makes 5 over 2 minus 1 half so since similar fraction siya so copy the denominator then subtract the numerator so we have 5 minus 1 is 4 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 so that makes 6 squared so the exponent is 2 ibig sabihin Dalawang basis natin, i-multiply si 6. So, 6 times 6 is 36. Okay. Number 5 is power of a quotient. So, for example, we have A over B to the power of M. In this case, we have A to the power of M over B to the power of M. We have to distribute. So, we have B is equal to 0. Okay, we have 8 over 27 to the power of 1 third. So that is equal to eight over one uh eight to the power of one third over twenty seven to the power of one third. No? Now eight can be uh, transformed in equation uh in exponent form by uh two to the power of three. Diba? Two to the power of three. So that is we have two three times one uh one third is one. So that mix is two. Then we have 3 to the power of 3, that's 27, can be trans, uh, uh, rewrite as in the, into exponent form as 3 to the power of 3. Diba? Because if we are going to multiply 3, 3 times, or 3 times, 3 times, 3, the result is 27. So, 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So, 3 cubed times, or th to the place to the power of 1 third, so 3 times 1 third is 1. So, that is 3. That makes 3. So, the result is 2 third. Okay. Next is the negative exponent. How about if the given is... Uh, how we are going to apply this negative exponent? 
in rational exponent. Now we have a negative one, uh, negative m, uh, a to the power of negative m is equal to 1 over a to the power of uh, positive m. Diba yung negative, pag sinabi ko na basta negative yung exponent, ibig sabihin wala siya sa kanyang lugar. It is, that certain number is not in his right place. So it's either you are going to move it down or you have to move it up. No? Bring it up and bring it down. We have, for example, 25 to the power of negative 1 half. So negative 1 half. So we're going to bring it down. The 25 is you are going to bring it down to make positive 1 half. So 1 over 25, 1 half. Or you are going to get the reciprocal of that number. In short, another term is you are going to get the reciprocal. For example, okay, I'm going to show you some example now. For example, how about if this 8 over 27 can raise into negative 1 third? How about that one? So, if you are going to that, to write that one into a positive, you are going to, uh, you have to, okay, so that is, you have to uh, get the reciprocal of 8 over 27. So, that makes 27 over 8. So, balik tal. So, magiging 27 nasa taas at sa kasi sa baba. So, I will, I will give you example on that later. So, we have, okay. Some example, for example, that one. Okay, we have a to the power of 2 third times a to the power of 1 half. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Apply the power, product of power. So, since... The given exponent is not a similar fraction, so we have to uh, find the LCD, apply the, the rule in, in simplifying or adding fraction or adding the similar fraction. Okay, we have, we have that one, a to the power of 2 third times a to the power of 1 half is equal to copy the base, then add the exponent, which is 2 third plus 1 half. Since they are similar fraction, you are going to find the LCD, so that is 6 this is 6 so we have 4 4 plus 3 magiging 4 plus 3 siya kasi 6 times or 6 divide 3 is 2 times 2 is 4 then 6 divide 2 is 3 times 1 is 3 okay so that is 4 plus 3 over 6 okay so that is 7 over 6 is equal to a is equal to a to the power of 7 over 6 Number 2 is a to the power of negative 2 over 3. So, since our, neg our exponent is negative, we have we're going to apply the properties of negative exponent. We have a to the power of negative 2 third, baliktad. So, bring it down. So, that makes 1 over a to the power of 2 third. Okay, positive na. Next is 7 or quantity 7 mn raised to the power of 1 half. We're going to apply the power of a product. No? Distribute all the exponent. So, we have on in, in all the factors. For example, 7 mn raised to the power of 1 half. So, a, distrib a distribute siya. So, that makes 7 raised to the power of 1 half, m to the power of 1 half, then n to the power of 1 half. Okay? So, next is x cubed raised to the power of 2 thirds. So, we're going to apply the power of power. So, we're going to multiply the powers. So, copy the base, then multiply the powers. So, we have 3 times 2 over 3, or 2 thirds. So, that makes 6 over 3, or 6 divided 3 is 2. So, that makes x squared. Okay? Number 5. We have 5 to the power, or 5a to the power of, 5 divided by a, or 5 over a to the power of 3 fourth. Again, that is, we're going to apply the power of a quotient. Power of a quotient. Now, same as here, we are going to distribute uh, distribute the powers or the power. So, we have 5 to the power of 3 over 4, then over a to the power of 3 over 4. Okay. Then, number 6, we have 2 to the power of 3 fourth divided by 2 to the power of 1 pip. So, we are going to apply the quotient of powers in which we are going to copy the dinam uh, copy the base. Since pareho sila ng base, you have to copy the base, then 
subtract the, ex the exponent. So, that makes the 3 over 4 minus 1 fifth. So, since they are the similar fraction, we have to find the LCD. So, 20 divided 4 is 5 times 3. That makes 15. 20 divided 5 is 4 times 1 is 4. So, that makes 15 minus 4. 15 minus 4 is 11. So, 11 over 20. That makes 2 to the power of 11 over 20. Okay. Another, this one. Ito, katulad. Sinabi ko kanina. We have 2 to the power 3. Or 2, 2 over 3 to the power of negative 1 fourth. Negative 1 fourth. So, we are going to apply the negative exponent. Negative exponent. So, ito yon. So, 2 third. 2 third. Para magiging positive siya. Para ma positive exponent siya. Kailangan kunin natin yung reciprocal. We are going to get the reciprocal. No? Balik ta rin. Balik tad. So, ibig sabihin, magiging 3 over 2 siya. So, ito yon guys. Ito yon So, pag in natin yung power of quotient or quotient, no? Kapag in natin to, power of quotient dito, kapag in natin, so, i-distribute natin tong exponent na to. So, negative pariho. So, ibig sabihin, wala sila sa kanilang pwesto. So, ibig sabihin, i-down natin si 2, bring it down, din si 3, i-bring it up. Ibig sabihin, kabalik ta rin siya. Reciprocal ng tawag doon. No? Reciprocal. So, we are going to get the reciprocal of 2 over 3, so, in which the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. Okay? So, then, after getting the reciprocal, magiging positive na siya. Okay? Then, so, after that, we are going to apply the power of, of power of quotient. So, distribute the exponent. So, 3 raised to the power 1 fourth and 2 raised to the power 1 fourth. Next number 8 is 8x9 or x, x to the power 9 raised to the power of 2 over 3. Apply the power of powers. Apply this one. This one. Power of product. Power of product. Okay? So, we have, we are going to multiply or distribute the, uh, the, the exponent. We are then apply the uh, power powers. We have 8x to the power of 9. So, since 8 can be translated into 2 cube. So, this one, 2 cube. So, we have 2 cube, 3 to the power of 2 third. Then, x to the power of 9 to the power of 2 third. So, that makes, you are going to multiply that one. So, that makes 2 squared. So, 2 squared. So, that is, so, 6 over 3. So, that is 2. 6 divided 3 is 2. Then, this one, 9 times 2 is 18. Divide 3, that is 6. So, that makes 2 squared x to the 6 power. 2 squared can be rewrite as 4. Diba? So, 2 squared is equal to 4. So, that makes 4x to the power of 6. Okay, number 9. We have 3x to the power of negative 1 half times 3x to the power of 1 half, then y to the power of negative 1 half, then 3y negative 7 over 4. So, we are going to simplify that one. Apply the negative exponent. Negative exponent. Rule of negative exponent. So, since di, hindi, wala siya rin uh, dito, they are, they are not in the... the no, it is a multiplication, rather. It is a multiplication. So, we have, we're going to first. Okay. So, 9x, mo multiply muna siya. Kasi multiplication to. Okay, multiplication to siya. A multiplication. So, you are going to multiply this first. We have 3x. Then, use that, that is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Then, x. Because si x lang ang merong exponent. So, x. Negative 1 half. Plus, because we are going to add exponent. Plus 1 half. To. Tapos, si y. Over 3. Di ba? Si y, kasi negative siya. Negative siya dito. Division siya. Division. You are going to plus again dito diba 
Ibabalik siya dito, ibabalik. Dito siya, magiging sa, lab, sa, sa taas siya, sa taas. Kasi negative to eh. So, we are going to multiply again this one. Y, then Y, negative 1 half plus 7 over 4. So, that makes 9 X 0 Y, negative 4 plus 21 over 12. So, that makes 3 Y. Paano nagiging 3? So, 9 divide 3. So, 3. 3 Y, 17 over 12. The number 10. Okay, we have x to the power or quantity x to the power of negative 1 half y squared uh, raised to the power of negative 5 over 4 over x squared y to the power of 1 half. So, the solution, you are going to... Okay. You are going to distribute this one apply the power of product so we have x negative 1 half times ne uh, negative 5 over 4 then y times 2 times negative 5 over 4 then that makes x uh, positive 5 over 8 y to the power negative 5 over 2 and then over x squared y 1 half so ito you are going to to divide subtract na naman so we have x 5 8 minus 2 kasi yung x yung exponent ng x dito sa baba is 2 so minus 2 then y meron siyang y sa taas so kailangan oh, so we have to copy the base then subtract the exponent negative 5 over 2 minus 1 half so that makes 5 minus 16 over 8 because they are similar, dissimilar fraction. Then ito, kasi similar siya, so magiging negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. Then ito, negative 11 over 8. So, negative 8, 11 over 8. Pareho negative exponent. So, kailangan ilagay sa baba. Okay. So, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Have a good day everyone. Keep safe always.